Kona Airport, Hawaii, Spring 2022. Reading with you Psalm 102. A prayer of a suffering man when he is weak and pours out his problems to the Lord. And this is <coughs> Stefan Heger reading with you in the New International Reader's Version and you can read and follow in your own Urdu, Amharic, French, German, whatever language you speak. It's a great joy to be your friend. God loves you and he, I love you too. Lord, hear my prayer. This is a prayer when you are in big problem. Listen to my cry for help. Don't turn your face away from me when I'm in trouble. Pay attention to me when I call out for help. Answer me quickly. My days are disappearing like smoke. My body burns like glowing coals. My strength has dried up like grass. I even forget to eat my food. I groan out loud because of my suffering. I'm nothing but skin and bones. I'm like a desert oak. I'm like an owl among destroyed buildings. I can't sleep. I've become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long my enemies laugh at me. Those who make fun of me use my name as a curse. I eat ashes as my food. My tears fall into what I'm drinking. You were angry with me. So you picked me up and threw me away. The days of my life are like an evening shadow. I dry up like grass. But Lord, you are seated on your throne forever. Your fame will continue all times to come. You will rise up and show deep concern for Zion. The time has come for you to show favor to it. The stones your destroyed city are priceless to us. Even its dust brings deep concern to us. The nations will worship the Lord. All of the kings on earth will respect his glorious power. The Lord will build Zion again. He will appear in his glory. He will answer the prayer of those who don't have anything. He won't say no to they cry for help. Let this be written down for those born after us. The people who are not yet born can praise the Lord. Here is what should be written. The Lord looked down from his temple in heaven. From heaven he viewed the earth. He heard the groans of the prisoners. He set free those who were sentenced to death. So people will talk about him in Zion. They will praise him in Jerusalem. Nations and kingdoms will gather there to worship the Lord. When I was still young, he took away my strength. He wasn't going to let me live much longer. So I said, my God, don't let me die in the middle of my life. You will live for all time to come. In the beginning you made the earth secure. You placed it on its foundations. Your hands created the heavens. They will pass away but you will remain. They will all wear out like a piece of clothing. You will make them like clothes that are taken off and thrown away. But you remain the same. Your years will never end. Our children will live with you. Their sons and daughters will be in your care. So our children and children's children will live. That's the hope of this psalm. We'll read again tomorrow. Thank you for reading along.
28 verses. This was Psalm 102. A prayer of a suffering man when he is weak and pours out his problems to the Lord. So do it at all times.